Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one, I'm going to be doing my talent up for the Starcade NWO Revenge MLC. Um, <clears throat> going to start off with my big exciting moves first. Uh, I haven't done much recruited. Um, uh, I need to recruit Booker um, and claim him here. And did a few tours. I don't know if I've even opened the bags for him yet. Um... I always do my talent up a little bit late, usually late on day two, um, because previews and all that stuff. So I'm going to be doing my talent up here. Um, we'll start out actually in Recruit Booker. You can see I bought the three-star bronze starter pack. Uh, I don't want to be doing normal blitz, and so I got that. To be honest, uh, I also do like the tour... Uh, perks that come in the pack and uh, the fuse itself uh, lets me get farther in that so I would probably still get this even if it wasn't for the blitz because <clears throat> uh, this lets you get the card to um, four star gold by the end of the event um, free some events you can't so uh, let's just dump a bunch into him real quick I'm just gonna take him three star bronze max and stop there. And <clears throat> max out his move. Sorry, a little bit froggy. And uh, I would set him up at three star um, red, red, yellow. I feel like that's going to be quite good. At three star. He's got a nice month long bonus. He should be extremely viable during the month. Um, with the extra MP and all that, you can load up on um, move damage trainers if you want, uh, or possibly gem damage, but uh, he should be pretty solid during the month. Red and yellow are two of my lowest TP colors, uh, so of course they're on the on the free one, but that's okay. Um, I don't think I need a ton of yellow this month. We'll probably get into talking about that a little bit more as we go. Um, definitely a little bit of zombie month hangover for me. Zombies is one of my favorite uh, months every year. Uh, had a lot of good cards that month. I was lucky to get a bunch of them. Uh, I'm anticipating going back to just getting the free and the chase this month. That's usually <clears throat> how it works. We'll see, though. Maybe I'll get lucky. Uh, but I definitely enjoyed the zombie month, and I'm very excited to uh, do some of my evolves today. Two of them in particular, uh, which I will talk about when I get to. I am very, very excited about. Um, and I might do something slightly out of character, uh, although it be... And because we have 50 million coin to play with now on Talent Up, kind of changes the way we do these, or I do these, actually. Um, don't need to get a guy completely ready. Uh, you have the TP event going too, but generally I like saving as much TP as I can for the end of the week, because typically we get an event that is uh, Talent Up X character, get X points. And it's nice if I still have some of that TP left, so I'm not quote-unquote wasting the TP uh, on the weekend. Um, because I've already maxed the event. Uh, although I will be spending a decent chunk of TP today, most likely, to do the things that I really, really want to do for this talent up. So. Actually, let me get this other move in, too, so they're both in. Yeah, Booker should be very serviceable during the month. Uh, I only have plans to bring him up for the, his Talent Up event to get all of the Stacy Shards and MLC uh, points. Um, my powerhouses are very stacked such that 
I don't see myself using him over, say, Sika, for example. Um, who was free, who's very, very good. Um, so I'll get him to as high as I need to to max the talent up, book your talent up portion. And that's what I will call good for him. Uh, most likely, though, that's going to be end up being four-star gold. And I do plan on running him red, um, red, red, yellow, yellow for uh, the whole MLC. I might possibly, in some cases, potentially sub this move in, but uh, likely not. My game plan is also to take him max three-star bronze today. And as long as that can clear any weekend tours that might come off, uh, kind of hold off on doing anything else with him to see what kind of events we get. So this is the setup that I plan on running him uh, for the Booker requirements early on. You can see even at um, even at three star, he's making five randoms on the on the random moves. So that's not bad at all. Um, <clears throat> and the reversal is dealing 51k damage, and the finisher 35k. So that should be uh, more than sufficient to do a lot of uh, damage. So that's how I'm gonna run him. Uh, let's get to the fun stuff now that that's out of the way. Seth the gold is my big move. We're just going to do that first right off the bat. You can see I have enough to take another striker. I have no plans for anyone 5-star gold after Seth here. Um, when I get 20 hats, then I'll go with another striker. Uh, until then, I'll just level some strikers to 5-star silver that I'm thinking about maybe doing. And experiment with them. But that's that's my big move right there. Um, for striker, and uh, I love Seth, super fun card, so I'm very excited about that. I'll probably star fill him. Uh, I think I have enough star fills. Yep, I just have enough. I probably will, although I don't, he doesn't really need it because of moves, so actually, I'll probably just hold off. Uh, big deal for me with Seth happened um, this weekend. I pulled this strap, um, and if you know, I like running him double armor, honky tonk man. It's amazing on him, so very excited about that. Um, that was my one really big move that I have planned, along with uh, skipping a level um, on a guy as well. I do for sure want to make sure that I click the button and uh, take Offa to 5-star silver. That's been a little too long in happening, uh, and looking forward uh, to this as well. Boom. Good times. Alright. Um, we could sort this by upgrade at this point. <laughs> I want to take Shano Mac to 9k. For 40% yellow gem damage. Uh, trainer ability. This is a really nice one. This is going to be great on guys like Bobby Lashley and Edge. And so 40% more yellow gem damage and then yellow gems will moves that generate yellow gems create one more. So uh, that potentially can work out well for me, too. Um, definitely going to take Booker to four-star silver. King Booker. All right. Um, now, actually... I have other moves that I actually really want to do. None so much as this, though. Uh, clicking this button to 5-star bronze is something I am over the moon thrilled about. Uh, this card is so much fun. And um, we're going to take him right to 5-star silver. So we're going to go 5-star bronze. Then we're going to max him out and take him 5-star silver. Um... I don't think I'm deep enough into the talent up that I don't want there's any reason to think I don't want to do that. 
Let me take a look real quick to see where we're at. Because you know me, I don't like overshooting the talent up. 86 million. So yeah, we're about halfway. Perfect. Go ahead and claim some of these milestones. See if anything interesting happens. The metal bits and strap parts are going to be quite nice. And I always claim rewards one at a time. Uh, they don't bug out when you do that. Uh, so I don't like the idea of having to ask support for my rewards. So it's always one at a time. Not that claiming all will necessarily bug you out, but this way for sure doesn't. So big fan of doing it this way. All right. You left to go. And... We can claim these too, just in case anything exciting happens, like pull, uh, pull the chase from the, the chest here. Alright. And now we get to work on Austin, which I'm super excited about. I am definitely star filling him um, this month. Uh, both stars will be filled. That's 5,000 um, is what it'll cost to fill both. Uh, he's heavy gem damage um, based, so and he can use the health, so 100% he'll be getting star filled. 19 million, that's going to chew up a decent chunk of my coin change. It gives us almost 20 million points for the event. Well, it will with the talent, so... Lots of purple TP, so I am a-okay with him uh, needing purple. Not so much red, but, you know. He's also a um, big-time stipulation guy for me. I use him on red stip, uh, blue stip, and purple. He's very, very fast. This one done. And then we will get that last blue move done. This is the really expensive part. Five star bronze hurts uh, when you have to dump like, I want to say it's like almost 1900 TP into one move. So we're at uh, 12K and man, some change. 12,116. We'll probably be down to like 11.2 by the end of this. Um, so this is like the painful part for me. Um, luckily, I'm fine on blue TP, though. It's actually my second highest currently. Uh, maybe not after today, though. But he is super, super fun. Uh, I have the tokens to take him 5-star gold, and my plan is to take him 5-star gold uh, next month's talent up. Um, I kind of almost really just want to skip straight through to 5-star gold today, but that's not very efficient. So I will wait a month, and it is going to kill me. But I'll have him 5-star silver for a month, and then take him 5-star gold. All right. Here we go. Five star silver, Austin. Super, super duper excited by this. Yeah. 
That looks like we're about up to 120 million on the talent up now. Uh, still on up. We're going to do... Do, 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 do. Yellow gem damage for a Lashley and Edge. We're definitely evolving you, Braun. All right. Very nice. And Ted um, is going to go to, um, actually, he's at 12k. So I want him there for his training ability. And you can see I'm almost out of four stars. So as much as I'd like to take him four star gold, I'm going to hold off because he just needed 12k for that 25% um, for Seth. And he's got that. So I'm going to hold off because I have a couple other Hall of Famers I need to get 12k. Uh, for coaching abilities as well. I was going to level him though, so that's interesting. I didn't know he hit 12k right at the end there. Going to take Bailey, 5 star bronze. Um, very likely I'm going to go 5 star gold with her. Um, I have a 50% gem damage trap that's quite nice for her. And she is an awesome, um, awesome trainer. Blue move finisher uh, trainer. So I need to get her to 5-star silver anyway for that trainer ability. Um, so, gonna, well, actually, maybe not. She'll probably hit 15k before then, kind of like Ted. Uh, but I'm going to level her up this month um, and get her ready for 5-star silver. Start playing with her, see how I like her. Um, I leveled up Booker. Uh, Seamus needs a lot of TP. Let's see where we're at. And then I have a couple moves... Close-ish that I want to do. Where are we at here? Hundred and fifty k, or hundred fifty million rather. So I need thirty million more points. Uh, nothing exciting there. Or there. Or there, except the strap and metal bits. That's exciting. And the Stacy shards, I guess. I definitely want her as a coach for uh, Rhea Ripley. Um, so let's see what we're going to do here. We're going to go class now because there are a few I am very close on that I want to take up. First one being Edge. He might not be as close as I want, though. I think he's like 15, 16 million. Uh, so I spent 19. Yeah, we're still well under 50. Let's do it. Edge is worth it. His move, his TP is done. And he's actually going to be my next 5-star gold uh, technician. And I have the... I have the tokens for that. So I'll probably skip a level on next talent up with him, too. And go... Uh, do the same thing I did with um, Austin. Take him straight to 5-star silver next month. Alright. He also gets a lot better at 4-star gold with the finisher. And it looks like I froze there. Let's see if I can get out of it. Nope, so it looks like I'm going to have to reload the game, so apologies. Uh, hopefully I got credit for that. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to taking Edge up for sure. He's going to be great. A lot of fun to use. Got a 20% gem damage strap on him. Um, so I got the yellow uh, gem damage coaches you see I'm working on in uh, Strowman and also Austin. So 
It's it should be very very effective for him. Have some really nice metal set up uh, as well. And we should be logging back in now. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Blue Stacks decided it wasn't happy with me for this video. Okay. Let's check the scoring, see where we're at. Wrong button. I suppose I could claim my free booker here for the, what is it? 20 shards, I think? Yeah, 20 shards. Probably a good idea. Talent up. Looks like, ooh, we got really close with that. That was uh, about as close as you're going to get with just missing it. All right, booker strap, Stacy shards. We need 1.4 million. And uh, that's not going to be hard to get at all. Um, who do I want to put? You know what? Let's just start working on um, Austin. Oops, not titles here. Okay. Let's start putting some of the coin into him. Sounds like a plan to me. It's going to be like two moves, three moves. Done. Talent up maxed. Excellent. Uh, so let's claim the final milestone and you guys can see which plate I decided to pick. It's one I only have one of. Um, and we'll go get that. A lot of Stacy shards in this talent up for sure. Any of these metals interesting to me? No, not so much. Oh well. That is okay, I get to pick my skill plate, which makes me very happy. So much better than random. And scrolling. Probably there. Alright. Eternal Positivity. I only have one of these. And it's in use. Um, this will be my second. So very happy about this. It's on Alpha. It's clutch for Alpha. Really, really good on Alpha. Well, guys, that's my talent up. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, later this week, maybe early next week, I'll do a, a roster review, talk about my plans, especially after... Uh, talent up and where I'm going with them and things like that. So let me know what you think in the comments uh, And because I love hearing what you guys have to say and remember to like subscribe and share as that helps me out Other than that guys. Thanks for watching and good luck out there